it is the I don't know what the date is it's Tuesday and I am oh, what am I 12 days out and I had another low weigh in this morning of 49.5 after my low carb day so I'm just doing a bit of a physique update in the mirror here and I'm definitely the leanest in my legs that I've looked I am the leanest in my abs that I have looked probably really bad lighting but yeah I'm just looking doing a bit of a update on myself and it was kind of freaking me out because I've never been this lean but yeah uh, I woke up I fell asleep at like two o'clock in the morning and awake at 7.30, I don't know why, it's just what I, what's been happening at the moment, and really out of it at the moment, um, I'm really, really hungry, and it's 9 o'clock in the morning, so, you know it's going to be a tough day when you wake up hungry, but I've got a few things to do, I've got a bit of cleaning to do, uh, got a bit of birthday planning that I am going to do today because my birthday is the 3rd of October so that leaves me I've got competition and then a week later it's my birthday so I'm gonna go and source something out god my legs have never been this lean which is so weird <sighs> so yeah I'm gonna go sort out some birthday things and that sort of thing and then I'm gonna try and get a work in work out in somewhere obviously and yeah it's just I don't know I didn't wake up very well today just really hungry which is not good but yeah that is my plan for today all right so this session today probably wasn't the most intense that I would usually go. I find I I just found this day really really hard mentally and physically, not waking up very well and that sort of thing, but anyway, regardless of that, this is what I started with. It's a chest and back day, so I mixed it up and I did I would do one chest exercise, one back exercise, one chest, one back, one chest, one back. So it's a little bit different to what I usually do. Generally, I like to do each muscle group and then switch to the next one. But switching it up today for something a bit different. Uh, so I started with just dumbbell chest press. And then I went on to the lat pull downs. So I am doing a little bit of lighter weight, higher reps, and then for the last set, I'm generally doing a few drop sets just to just to get that little bit of an extra burn. So here, just really working the chest out. Uh, again, uh, probably I'm doing 15 kilo plates here, whereas I would usually do 20 kilos, but I just did extra reps and then the last few reps I would do a lot slower just to get that extra burn. Yeah, because as I said, this session mentally, I just, I really wanted to get it done. I really wanted to focus on isolating each muscle movement I did. So I went a little bit lower. So here I am doing uh, rows one of my favorite back exercises. You really need to make sure that you bring the cable right into your chest so you are maximizing the muscle usage. And here I am also I'm doing chest flies on the machine. So I usually switch it up. One day I'll do um, the machine flies and the other day I'll do cables and another day I might do dumbbells. 
I like to stay away from the dumbbells though because I get a little bit of a pain in my shoulder. But yeah, I really like this one. I like to hold it at the end sometimes and just get that little bit of an extra burn. I did a wider grip with these just to get my uh, lats working a little bit more because that will go with my back pose because my main focus in my back pose is to bring my lats out. So a lot of my back exercises at the moment have been lat focused. Back again guys, uh, just wanted to add to this video a little bit about cardio, I guess. Um, there's no, I get a lot of questions about what I do for cardio and what cardio is the best, what cardio is the most effective, what's going to burn calories more. And yeah, I get a lot of cardio questions, I guess. So I just wanted to say a little bit about what I do for cardio as well as what hit cardio is and steady state, like the difference versus each other, what's best, whatever. So at the moment, I'm doing steady state. I'm doing 40 minutes of steady state of steady state cardio pretty much every day. I am doing this because I'm in such a deficit that I don't actually need the cardio. Obviously I'm doing the cardio to be more in a deficit than what I would be without it. Me and my coach have come to the agreement that doing HIIT cardio is unnecessary at this point given that it's just going to make my weight sessions that little bit more tiring and probably deplete the muscle more than what it needs to this late in the cut and this close to competition. So I'm just doing 40 minutes steady state. I get the YouTube up. Um, I watch my favorite people. I do that sort of thing. So it's sort of a little bit, not only is it a, bit of steady state but it's a bit of me time as well it gives me time to you know do the things that I wouldn't do if I wasn't doing steady state anyway so like enjoying just watching some YouTube videos and just chilling out having a bit of a think to myself that sort of thing on the other hand I love hit I love hit cardio that's pretty much what I've always ever done until now uh, just generally because I don't personally enjoy cardio. So if I go really hard and intense, I would only have to do it for 20 minutes rather than 40 minutes to an hour or whatnot. So with saying all this, I guess there's no wrong or right answer what's best. Um, if I guess you've got to look at why and why you're doing cardio. So if you're doing cardio to burn off that cheeseburger you had yesterday, you're not doing it for the right reasons. If you're doing cardio because you're eating healthy as well, like you're working out and you're doing cardio, just that extra, you're doing that extra little bit to get where you want to get, you're doing it right. Um, cardio shouldn't be used because you just had that big bottle of Coke and fries or... Cardio should be to put you further in deficit than what you are. I guess what I'm saying is you can't expect to lose weight from doing cardio and then going and eating whatever. So yeah, you've got to look at why you're doing cardio. Are you doing it for the right reasons? Are you doing the right things with it? Because cardio isn't going to cut it. Um, as well as what do you prefer? Like some people hate hit cardio. Like you've got to work, you've got to do what you prefer, what you like and what works best for you. If, if you're happy to, you know, do steady state cardio, watch a bit of YouTube, listen to some music while you do it, if you're happy to do that for 40 minutes to an hour and that's what you enjoy, you do that. If you prefer HIIT cardio, you like getting your heart racing, you like sweating, getting it out and just doing it really quickly, then do HIIT. So, yeah, there's no wrong or right answer to cardio. It's very much just a personal preference. It's what you want to do. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, give you a little spiel on that sort of thing. 
but yeah, you do what you want to do, you do what's best, what works for you, and that sort of thing, so yeah, can't go wrong with either or, whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, that's about all I've got to say. Go and do your cardio. But yeah, personally, I'm actually like pretty excited to not do cardio. But if you want to do cardio, do it. And do it how you want. Peace out, bros. Oh, hello. Who said you can't eat big on a cart? Uh, this I'm really proud of. It is 739 calories. Uh, it is... 68 protein, 56 carb, and 25 fat. So I did eat a pretty clean and small lunch today, but for this is good. Um, it's not actually rice either. It's like this carb-free rice sort of thing. So it's like just a bit of dietary fiber, and that's about it in it. And then the amount of chicken is... Well, five kebabs of 75 grams of chicken, so you can do the math. And 130 grams of sweet potato, so I'm pretty keen to eat all of this because it's so big and I'm going to be so full and it's going to be so good. So, yeah, 739 calories of dinner and it's really, really good.